do um, fish, some uh, uh, oven roasted fish. It's really simple. You can hardly say it's cooking even. It's that simple. It's just putting together some fish in a stir fry. The whole idea is that it takes really quick. It doesn't put too much stress on you and it's easy, easy to do after work. And it's just like restaurant quality at the end of the day. It's fresh fish and fresh veg. Okay, so here we go. It's really basic. You can see I've got my um, sea bass, which is being battered and scaled by the fishmonger. So, you know, the work's done for you. I've got some garlic here, some lemon and onion. Now you can have garlic, uh, you can have chili and you can have ginger, whatever flavors you like. Um, but I've just got uh, this lot over here. So you take your fish. This is sea bass. You can use kind of, I mean, it does depend on which fish you use. I wouldn't use a, sh a shit fish, you know. I would use a, a good quality fish like sea bass or sea bream. Um, salmon is just overdone. It's the whore of the fish world, really. So I wouldn't just use salmon. Everybody cooks salmon. Okay. Now, okay, put it in. The oven is on. It's at 180. The oven is always at 180. You'll, whenever people talk about cooking, it'll always be 180. So make sure it's preheated and it's on. Okay. So what I'm going to do, just chop up my garlic. Like this. Now with your garlic clove, the best way to do it is just to use your knife, squash it, and the skin just pops off in a second like that. And then you just chop it. So that's that. Take my onion. We all know how to chop our onion. Over there. Red onions are a little bit sweeter than uh, uh, yellow onions. So I prefer them sometimes. Uh, yellow onions are great, you just have to cook them for a little bit longer. So you just put it face down. Now you just take your fish, you sprinkle it with its garlic, put the garlic inside on top, and take your onions. You just chopped up over there. Now you can wrap it up in tin foil and get all fancy. I don't know if it makes such a big difference, to be honest. Um, at the end of the day, it's going to be in the oven for half an hour, 20 minutes, and um, you know. I, don't, I think that's more for show. Take my uh, lemon, always roll the lemon before you um, cut it because it's easier to squeeze. And then just squeeze that over. Your fish, now we, we know fish loves the, uh, lemon juice, you know, it just brings back that influence of the sea. Let's do that. Okay, always season. So a bit of salt and pepper. Okay, a bit of uh, olive oil, that's very healthy, very Mediterranean. Okay, and then just one more thing, which is an optional extra, but it does create that flavor, which is the butter. Um, you don't have to add it, you know, but at the end of the day, there's no substitute for flavor and fat. <laughs> um, and the butter combines beautifully with the uh, lemon juice to form its own sauce. So. It's the reason you don't have to have it. Okay, now that goes in the oven, uh, probably for about half, uh, 20 minutes, half an hour. You just keep watching it, uh, 180 degrees. So you can see the oven's going here. It's really preheated. You just bang it in like that, and we'll come back uh, when it's done with the stir fry. Put a hot wok down here. Most important thing is to get a wok hot, and make sure you get a good wok with a thick base. It's all about having a nice thick base because it conducts the heat better. Okay, so we put in just normal cooking oil, not olive oil, this is sunflower oil. Now it should be hot. So you can hear that sizzle straight away. So in with one packet. This is a very nice stir fry, it's actually got sweet potato in it. I mean most stir fries wouldn't have um, you know, a potato vegetable in it. They would have just carrots and leaves and onions, but this is got some sweet potato and it cooks really quick because it's, thin, it's very thinly sliced. So put a second packet in. Okay, now with the wok, it is quite hot so you want to watch it. You want to keep on tossing it so it doesn't burn. And now we're going to season, so a bit of pepper. Now I am going to add soy sauce at the end and that's quite salty so you don't need that much salt. But I will put a little bit in. Sea salt. Okay. And now all the time kind of toss it and turn it. This will take five minutes maximum and then I'll place it up with the fish. Um, and all the time I'm watching it, you know, in the restaurants they toss it and they uh, toss it just with the pan but we're not good enough for that. 
So you just let it do that. So I've been turning this and watching it. Um, okay, now I've basically done. It's taken five minutes. Turn off the heat. And we'll just add our soy sauce, which really brings it all together. A lot of flavor in here, a lot of saltiness. And this is really all you need. You get lots of fancy, um, you get lots of fancy uh, sauces, stir fry sauces. All you need is some good dark soy sauce. It's a lot healthier. Mm, the flavors of it is wonderful. It's almost like wine. Okay, so that's the end of that. So I'll just take that up now. A shot of that and you can see it's gone beautifully uh, golden and uh, the lemon juice and the butter has all uh, mixed up to form a sauce I was going to add a little bit of fresh lemon over it and you can see how delicious that looks now that take that took 15 minutes you know you, you saw the prep time was nothing the stir fry took five minutes you know why, why is that a takeaway or rely on somebody else when you can eat food like this